Hello, thank you so much for coming back and watching this week's Monday Must Have. So I am doing a Monday Must Have and my monthly foundation review, and it is on the Catrice um, All Matte Plus Shine Control Foundation. So if you'd like to see me applying this, plus probably like a 9 or 10 hour wear test with check-ins, then definitely keep on watching. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, bookmark my page. I upload a video every single day of the week, plus I also do live streams every Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love for you to be able to come on back and watch whenever you would like. So I did purchase this. I had a subscriber um, request that I try this foundation out, and I have never tried Catrice products before. Um, I did purchase this on Amazon for like $8.99. I will leave the affiliate link down below. You're welcome to use it, but you do not have to. So I did pick up the shade 015 Vanilla Beige, and this is one fluid ounces of product. Pretty standard, so one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters K. It's supposed to last up to 18 hours, which... There's some foundations that claim to last 24. I don't think there's a ton of people out there that are wearing their foundations for 18 hours. I know I'm personally not. I will sometimes hit that 14 or 16 hour mark, but very, very, very rarely do I hit the 18 hour mark. So it is right now, it is 8.37 in the morning, so it's not super early, but I do film on the weekend, so it is Saturday, so... Okay, so obviously I have my brows done, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this done. So this foundation is vegan and paraben-free, which is really, really awesome. It is also made in Poland, which I think is cool. It does have a pump, and it's like a little skinny pump, so um, I'll go ahead and squirt a little bit on the back of my hand so you can see like kind of the texture. So it's not a runny thin foundation, but it's not like a thick foundation like the Rimmel Stay Matte. That one's kind of a very moussey, very thick textured foundation. This one's, I would say, medium, medium thick. So, okay. So let's just go ahead. And um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be trying, you know, uh, this for you guys, and I will not be color adjusting it because I have been color adjusting my foundations for the summer. So I'm doing a about a pump and a half. So all together, it's gonna be about two pumps. But and this is not a first impressions. Um, I have been using this for I'd say I don't know, maybe a week, maybe. And, uh, yeah, when it first goes on, I personally like to kind of let it sit. Um, I do think it helps the coverage. I just added, a, like, another quarter of a pump to do my nose. And it's a very kind of wet, like, you guys can see, like, it's kind of, like, making my bristles kind of stick together. But we'll just start blending it around the jawline a little bit. it is applied um i don't think this is a true matte foundation it's definitely more of i would consider a satin so i don't know if you're seeing okay i mean it feels dry to the touch okay so it's not like feeling goopy or whatever it feels like it's kind of set down um but it definitely has a sheen to it i mean look at my nose okay um it definitely has has some dewiness to it, so if you don't like a true full matte foundation, then you might enjoy this. Um, I would say this has a a medium coverage at best with one layer. You can still see a lot of discoloration, my old scarring, freckling. So we're gonna go ahead and just do another pump, but I'm gonna be doing kind of like, um, kind of almost like spot. Um, built up like I'm not gonna do a full two like two layers all over my face but I just I'm gonna do it places I need it and honestly I probably didn't even need a full pump but I guess we are doing it all over the face pretty much but okay
Okay, so it is built up. Um, I don't think it looks bad or cakey at all. Um, it's not exaggerating the pores, so I think it's looking really, really nice. Still can see a tiny bit of discoloration coming through. I could definitely conceal before, or I could do color correcting before, but I think this is looking really, really nice. I think it looks pretty skin-like, honestly, so I am going to go grab a concealer because I forgot. I'm going to conceal online so you guys can see what it's going to be covering, but I think I'm just going to do under-eye concealer, and then we'll set it, and... I'll be touching base with you guys throughout the day to show you guys how this wears and see if it's a Monday must-have, so I'll be right back with some concealer. Okay, so I went and grabbed my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer and my coffee. Because, you know, the weekend. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to do this on camera for you guys so that way we're seeing exactly where I'm doing some a little bit of extra coverage. So, that way when I come back and you know, do check-ins and stuff. There's no confusion about what's foundation and what's concealer, so. So I just hit my under eyes really, really good, so I'm gonna go ahead and start setting Cody um, Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Powder. This powder doesn't really change like the wear time or anything like that. Um, I've heard Sabrina, she's awesome. Anyway, so if the foundation's bad, um, it will still show that it's bad. This powder doesn't really affect or change foundations. So, um, and when I heard her say that, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's completely right. It's a great powder, but if it's a crappy um, foundation, it will not save it, so. And plus it's, I just really, really like it. It's so big and affordable and it's really finely milled and just a great, great powder. A lot of people don't like the scent, but uh, I had a very, very, very sweet subscriber let me know that they actually make a Cody Airspun scent free. I guess it's in green packaging is what she said. So I have never seen it. I didn't even know it existed, but I even like tried looking on Amazon and it must be kind of like... Like, a very, very hard product to find because I cannot find it, but I don't mind the scent, personally. But, okay, so we are powdered down, and, you know, honestly, this would be as much powder as I use because I do have combo skin. I just like the way matte skin looks on myself, but there we go. Okay, so... Let's get in close and I'll show you the time and everything. So first check-in time is going to be 8.47. There we go, 8.47 in the morning. So I think it's looking really, really nice. That powder definitely helped to mattify it a little bit more. Um, and it's looking, it's looking nice. So yeah, I'm gonna go on with my day. I got some more other videos to film. I also, um, cooking and stuff, we're also going over to families to celebrate my birthday, um, because it is Saturday, June 22nd, right there, there we go, so it's Saturday, June 22nd, my birthday was on the 18th, so we're gonna go celebrate on the weekend, so I'll probably do some check-ins over there, um, but I think it's looking really, really nice, and I will see you guys here in a bit. Hello, so it is currently, let me turn on my tablet, so it is currently 12.52, so this has been on for a little tiny bit over four hours, right, because it was almost nine, yeah, so, yeah, almost a little over four hours, okay, so I haven't blotted nothing, okay, so this is what it's looking like, creasing on the forehead is pretty minimal, um, I do have some deep wrinkles on my forehead, so it does... All foundation pretty much creases. Um, tiny, tiny, tiny bit like cakey around my nose, but not very bad. Um, I haven't touched up, I haven't repowdered or anything like that, and um, looking a little shiny. It's to me, this is still pretty. It's definitely matte enough for me where um, I'm okay with it. I don't feel like I need a powder or anything, but yeah, so this is what it's looking like a little after four hours. I think it looks really pretty, and I've been cleaning, I've been filming, um, toilet soaking right now, so 
yeah, I think it's looking pretty nice. I'm gonna go continue on. Next time you see me, I'll probably have makeup on and I'll probably be at um, relative's house celebrating my birthday. So I'll do another check in here in a little while. So bye. So it is four o'clock in the afternoon. So I've had this foundation on for a little over seven hours. Um, I did throw on some blush and bronzer and highlight, mascara, and some lip stain. Um, we're going to be getting going here in a little bit, um, foundation-wise. So I haven't touched up with, like, setting powder or blotting powder or anything like that. Um, obviously I did put powder products, like, in certain places, but, um, around my nose is looking better. I did blow my nose earlier. I think it's starting to wear off a tiny, tiny bit like on my tip of my nose, but it has sunk a little bit more into my forehead lines. But honestly, I think for having it on for seven hours, I cleaned the bathroom, vacuumed, um, did the bedding, you know, made the bed and everything, dishes, filmed, um, made lunch. Um, I'm about to go do the cat boxes. Um, so yeah, it's not like I've just been sitting on my behind, which sounds wonderful for a weekend, but you know. So yeah, I think it looks really nice for it being on for seven hours. Um, it's still a little bit dewy. I'm not wearing any highlighter on my nose or forehead. Just a little bit right here, but I think it looks nice. I think it is still looking skin-like, and it has not oxidized, so at least it's staying true to color, so that's always a good thing. I'm going to take my camera with me, so I'll probably do one last check-in, like, while we're over there and then I'll when I get home I'll do like my final thoughts and everything and see if this uh, Catrice um, all matte plus foundation is a Monday must-have so I will see you guys here in another little while I got a feeling we're gonna be hitting like the 11 or 12 hour um, wear test today cuz I wouldn't be surprised if I don't get home till like 9 or 10 tonight so I'm not looking forward to that but it will be a good wear test so I'll see you here in a little bit come here kitty kitty yeah, people want to see you. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yeah. Such a pretty girl. Okay, so it is 7 o'clock at night, so I've had this foundation on for a little over 10 hours. I think it's looking pretty good, but I know I'm shiny, but I think it's still feeling pretty lightweight not having very much transfer at all so um, I will check in with you guys later on this evening after I get home and then I'll give you my final thoughts hello I just got home and it is 9 33 at night so there we go anyway so I've had this um, foundation on for almost 13 hours I'm ready to go take a shower and take off my makeup but um, as you can see I am looking pretty shiny but I have not touched up once. I haven't blotted. I've blown my nose a few times, but... Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Um, pores still look pretty good. I do see that it's starting to wear off, like, right here. Um, tip of the nose is still... It's I can definitely tell foundation has come off from me blowing my nose. So let's go ahead and see how bad this transfers, especially where I have not blotted. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit of foundation, um, but I'm not seeing any major marks from where I rubbed it. So, um, yeah, 13 hours of wear, it claims to last 18 hours. So what do I think of the Catrice Cosmetics All Matte Plus Shine Control Makeup? I actually really, really like it. Um, I do think it's a really nice foundation. It's definitely not anywhere near full coverage. I did have to put on two layers to get this amount of coverage, um, but I do think it's a really, really nice foundation. I like the packaging, I like that it has a pump, and I think it looks really skin-like um, for a really, really long time. I bet if I just repowder, I don't even have powder, but let's just see what it looks like, okay? Um, I'm gonna go take a shower, but I'm sorry. I know that there's powder everywhere now. Sorry about that, but I wanna see what happens when I repowder this down, because, okay. Yeah. I mean, if you carry a pressed powder with you, I think you could definitely powder this throughout the day. And that totally made it look 
way nice so I definitely think that you could wear this for 18 hours especially if you're doing like touch-ups blotting or um, adding powder throughout the day I think that this would be a really really nice foundation for a lot of skin types um, I do have some flaky dry zits um, around my mouth and it's sitting beautifully on top so I think Unless you're extremely, extremely oily, I think this foundation would work for a lot of different skin types, and I do think it looks really, really pretty. Um, makeup went on top of it beautifully. The foundation lays gorgeous on the skin. I was able to put on concealer and other powder products just fine, so I really do think this is a nice foundation. Like I said, um, it was like $8.99 on Amazon. There was only like three or four shades. I don't know what it's going to be like on other websites where they do sell Catrice, but like I said, I will leave my affiliate link down below if you would like. Um, you can always use that, but yeah, I really do like this foundation. I don't think it is totally matte, and I don't think it controls shine like it says, but it looks really, really pretty on the skin, and it is a really, really nice foundation, so I do like it a lot. So there we go. It is definitely a Monday must-have. So I hope you enjoyed this very in-depth with lots of check-ins and th almost 13-hour wear tests. So I like it. It's definitely worth the money in my book. So yay! Anyway, um, if you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and share it. I know this Catrice Foundation has been out for a little while, but it's new to me and it's probably new to a lot of people and it does look really, really pretty on the skin. So there you go. Um, also leave a comment down below. Have you ever tried any Catrice products? I would love to know down below in the comments. I know they have a beautiful like California in a box which has blush and bronzers and highlights and stuff. That looks beautiful. I know they do make another um, type of foundation. So let me know down below, below in the comments. Have you tried other Catrice products? And you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. I should have another video that should start playing here in just a second. Or you can always click on one of the ones that is popping up around me. Let's hang on a little bit longer. I'll see you in a sec.